Welcome to the Texas Truck Channel. I'm Craig, and we are at the hill. We've got something exciting for you. Well, you already know because it's on the description. We're talking about the hill real quick because it's like a river is always constantly changing a little bit. The main line I almost fell just getting to it is a little more eroded now, or there's a little bit more washout, and so this is now steeper. So you really have to have a like good like 25 degrees almost. You can get under that a little bit, but at least a minimum of 20. We'll get to the vehicle and what it has here in a minute. So what we can do now though is we go to the left. We're still taking a big chunk of the main line, but we shrink this big step down a tad so we can get one wheel up and save the front uh, air dam usually on most of the vehicles we're taking up here. And what we have today, as you've already seen, Kia EV9. Yes, we take everything up here, including EVs. Because Brian, look, this thing's got four-wheel drive. That's absolutely it. And it actually has a, as they call a diff lock on the drive mode. So we're gonna see if that actually works out. That's really why we're here. I want to try that thing out and see if it means anything. This thing's expensive. It's $78,000. If you read the press briefing, they are aiming for Escalades and Mercedes, but they're still claiming some off-road stuff. So we're going to try that out today and make sure that's true. ABD, Craig, that's what's important here. Mm -hmm. Approach angle. So for those that don't know, the approach angle is the lowest point of the frontmost part of the car directly to the lowest part of the tire. That for us has to be around 20 or we really have no business on the main line in and of itself. This has, Craig, 20.0 on the approach Ooh. angle. Okay. Yeah. The breakover is also 20, which let's get into that real it's quick. It's surprising because it looks really long. Well, it is really long. And that's the concerning thing is I'm like, wow, is that going to work out for us? I don't know that it is. Well, there's no muffler to drag. Exactly. Or fuel there's tank. A, but there's also no full skid plate like a Jeep or something like that. There are batteries to pierce. So we need to watch out for that. Wheel and tire, these are blocky like a boulder. Maybe like that's going to go over. It's yeah. going to go over it. Okay, look, these are not meant for off-road at all. They are actually electric car specific tires, which means they are low rolling resistance, which means they have little grip. So it's not going to help here. Right, but, but it does have TRD Pro stuff. like, like Oh yeah, yeah, it has a gloss black fender flare, which look, we're going to keep jabbing Toyota about that because I think it's silly, but it is what they're doing. The part triangle is more than 20 out in the rear, which does help, but we don't test that here in particular. Let's just get into it and see what we can do. We have done a Kia like Soul in our mode though. So if, you know, this well, is kind of Kia Soul. trip. All right, Brian's going to talk about some off-road goodies. Believe it or not, there are actually a few in here. I not like, a bunch, but a few. Brian, speak to those. What do we got? I like how you're claiming it has a Kia Soul Soul. Ooh. Inception. All right. Very happy. Very happy key. Um, pretty cool. It's in white. I like that a lot. We do have downhill assist, which we don't test because it's just pointless for off-roading. But you do have, right here, drive modes. I'll cycle that. My drive. And snow is the only mm. off-road themed drive mode. It's really just slows everything down right in our experience but we do have four-wheel drive lock which yes we'll lock the front motors in harmony i think i guess that's what's going to happen and we're going to find out the camera system typical kia it is awesome except our vehicle is not white but that's okay um we do have different angles that you can get out front i can get right up on top of it and see when i'm getting up on something that's pretty cool we're gonna do our best front Look, there are some off-road vehicles that don't have camera systems like that. What? I know. I don't understand that. Like, thank you. That's good. Yeah, good job, Kia. 20 degrees right at that number. Woo! It's going to be hard. Well, let's find out. All right, we're going to slowly walk them up here. I'm going to spot them, make sure we don't rip off that front fender right there or air dam. You know, I can already tell you it's just going to be a problem, but let's see how close we can get. Okay, and that's part of our problem we have with anyone that doesn't have a true low range transfer case. It's hard to crawl it. And so it's really, even when you get to these obstacles that maybe we can't get over, which we're obviously not going to be able to get over because we still have this much to go. So I can report that when we talk about drive modes, I forgot that a minute ago. I've got a regular mode, traction on, axle not locked. Okay. I uh, mean, the, there are two separate EV motors and it's not in the lock mode. I can already tell you right now, I cannot left foot brake and drive through the brakes. Yeah. So I just tried that and then it lost traction in the rear over here. Other problem is the hill's been chewed up so much, 20 degrees isn't quite enough to go straight up. Anymore. Right. All right. So let's go a little bit to the left. Well, we talked about at the beginning okay. of the video and see what happens. Maybe we can help that bumper open over a little okay. bit. Okay. Let's try that. All right. So we're going to cheat it over to this way a little bit, help this front tire come up, and maybe get that front nose up and past. Let's see. This is where we'll get some slippage. This, usually this front wheel and that back wheel will cross, and that's what's happening now a little bit. Okay. Okay, it looks like we cleared that. Do we have four-wheel drive lock on? No. Okay. And it is applying brake force distribution a lot. 
on its okay. own. I'm trying to, I'm half throttle right now. Okay. It's definitely thinking it through. It's really taking yep. its time, but it's keeps kind of working its way around the system. Yeah. Now? Keep going. Yeah, you're good. Okay. So what's happening now is I'm giving it half throttle and it's not moving forward anymore. Um, I think we just hit a torque threshold. So I'm gonna try all-wheel drive lock. Let's see if that makes a difference here. I'm okay. gonna try and ease back into it, okay? Okay, and you're in normal mode still? Still normal mode. Traction control, what, on, off? On. Okay, it looks like it's gonna get it. There we go. A little bit of struggle, but it made it. Okay. Well, one of the really cool things you can see is there's a, just a smooth, complete skid oh, right really? down underneath there. It's actually fairly well protected, the batteries and stuff. Okay. Um, it struggled a little bit as it got halfway over, but we didn't yeah. start with the hard, we didn't go with all the goodies going into it. Right. That would have helped some, but it, it did pretty good. It did really good. And I want to point out too, we've had the Telluride, which is a similar platform to this in terms of dimension and size and everything. And it will just send power er erroneously wherever it goes and you have no support. This was moving brake force distribution forward and back and left and right in straight up normal mode on its own. Mm -hmm. Now, it was taking its methodical sweet time to do it, but it was doing it. So if I kept my foot at quarter to half throttle, it thought it out and it moved power around all over the place. When I put it to all-wheel drive lock, it just walked up. Yeah. So it just all of a sudden, that front to back moving of power just stayed what felt like 50-50, like it's supposed to. I'm impressed. Yeah, no, I'm quite impressed too. Look, Brian, if you're doing the Instagram thing, you got the roof rack here and you're trying to get to it, you're going to get to most campsites you're trying to get to. Honestly, we're, uh, and we're not exaggerating. I think no. you're going to get to most of them for sure. Uh, seriously, consider this vehicle for those types of things. You could probably, you could also change the tires in here, help a lot, some different yeah, things. Good point. Um, and lastly, Brian, I think we've also learned with this experiment with a 20 degree breakover, that's about the minimum on the breaker we need too for this hill now. So Even with the, the, the bypass line or the, the softer line, yes, the B yes. line, yeah, that's it. With that, thanks for watching. We take everything up here, EVs, non-EVs, hatches, Kia Souls. Backwards. Backwards. Our mode. Anyways, thanks for watching.